Did you ever wish that you had a dehydrating book when you're working on your dehydrating projects that you could take notes in and know what to do next time and record the things that didn't work or, man, I had a great idea, I'm gonna do this the next time? Well, have I got a book for you. Hi folks, I'm Darcy from The Purposeful Pantry and I wanna introduce my new book, The Dehydrating Basics Journal for Beginners. But the thing is, it's not just for beginners. It is, I wrote it for you in mind if you're just new starting dehydrating, but if you're an intermediate or if you've been at this for a while, this book will also work for you because of the journal feature, which is what makes it different than every other dehydrating book on the market. There are some awesome dehydrating books. I will put a link down below in the description box and up here in the iCards to send you to a video I did a while back that tells you about all of them, lets you look through some of them, and about the great things about all of them. But the problem is none of them had this feature and it was what I thought was really important. A couple years ago, I was uh, last year actually, I was approached by a publishing company to do a book and it was their book, it was not mine. It was their outline, it was what they wanted in it, they just wanted me to write it for them but they didn't want to write it the way that I thought needed to be written. They didn't really want me to put in those things that I thought were important because I think that for a lot of beginners, they need some place to be able to record. They need that space to say, this didn't work, why didn't this work? Let me try this version next time. I saw this tip on a Facebook group and I want to try it to remind myself the next time. So I wanted to do something that was made for you, okay? so. Here's the book. It is available in a spiral format or in a soft cover format like this. It's also available as an ebook for a much less, uh, exp um, uh, a lower price because you can print off only those pages that you need and keep the rest in a format in your ebook, however you decide to read it, but then you can just print it off as you need to go. But here's the spiral version, which is what was most requested. The, make, the great thing about it is that it will lay flat if you need it, or it will, uh, you can just fold it over to make writing in it easier. So let me go through the sections that are available to you that I tried to make sure that you got all the information that you needed to dehydrate successfully. First off, we have a section that tells you how to dehydrate in general. So it's how to how to pick a machine, the kinds of equipment, what kind of equipment that you need to dehydrate, what kind of equipment that you need to store. Then it goes through how to dehydrate at certain temperatures, what needs to be dehydrated at those temperatures, uh, then how the things to watch for like um, case hardening, what to do about uh, if your food is, is dry enough or did you can you over dry it. Then we have a whole section on how to store dehydrated foods so that you're making sure that you're storing properly. Then there's a section on how to use dehydrated foods. It gives you a lot of tips on making sure that you understand what needs to be done in order to use your foods later. Then the next thing that I wanted to do is the part that I found was best about this book that is available I, I don't know, it may be, somebody else may have done their own self-published book this way, but I haven't found one in the market, and it was something that I found was really important, is that there is a journal to go along with it. And what the journal entails is about 110 recipes of specific foods that you can dehydrate. And that's not even the, the, the end of everything that you can do, but it's a really great start to get you there for the most common foods that you dry, which I give you the food that you're drying, I give you the temperature that you're drying at in both Fahrenheit and Celsius. This is the recommendation, but that doesn't mean that that's what you have to do. You can always say no, I'm going to change the time that temperature. It's if it's recommended to have a pre-treatment, which I will tell you in the instructions. And there's also the whole list in the, the beginning section for how to. Then there's the suggested time that it'll probably take you, but knowing that this is never going to happen in every situation and every time because it's dry when it's dry and not a minute sooner. Just use this as a window, not as an exact thing. Then what I've done is I give you the directions on how to actually dehydrate. Then I give you a section here that can be a tip on serving, a tip on rehydration, a tip on storage, or maybe another tip when you're doing the dehydrating process that maybe this will work instead for you. Then I give you a section here to record your yield so that you have the, temp uh, the weight and volume of it depending on how you like to record things. And then this section here is the journal where you can write your notes about how it works for you, how you might wanna try it differently the next time, uh, maybe some tips that you found online that you might wanna record for the next time you try it, uh, and then things like that. So, or ideas about how you might serve it later. So then what I've done is, is a recipe page that are things of seasoning mixes, of um, sandwich spreads, of meals in a jar, of some soups that you can make, some fruit leather, a jerky recipe, and then some other kind of fun projects that you can do. So I'll give you the recipe and you've got tons of room to take notes or write some other things here that if you'd like. And the cool thing is, is that for the physical book people, um, there is a reference page that you can get to from the book. It gives you the information where you can go off and print off a, uh, a blank page 
page that you can add to the back of this, however you'd like to do it, or to another binder if you'd like to try it that way, of uh, that you can make your own recordings of the journal pages to do whatever you would like to do. Then on the back side here is also the temperature guide so that you can have the major food food groups and the temperatures that they need to dry at between Fahrenheit or Celsius, depending on what's useful for you. In the dehydrating journal, which is what I've done for those of you who don't need those beginner things, is that I created just the journal and recipes. So it, it and it is available also in spiral or the soft cover. Uh, and it's the same thing. It's just those pages without the beginning directions that you probably don't need if, if you've been around for a while. You would just like to have a place to write, to take notes, to do things for your, your new projects that you would like to do. Then what I have available is all of this is available in a single ebook format so that you can print off just the pages that you want to print and create a journal of yourself, a binder like this. So I've also included a cover that if you want the whole book or if you're going to print off just the journal pages and then it also includes a printable here where you can do the spine so that you can have it available to see if you have this kind of binder where you can slip in the covers um, but that way you can see it on your shelf what it is. So what I've done with mine is that I went and bought some, um, you're getting the edited view of what I I did. I went and just bought some tabs from the office supply store so that I could create tabs for each of the sections here that would make it easier for me to get to each of them. And the cool thing is, is that if you're buying the ebook, you can actually print off only the pages that you want to work on. You don't have to print it all off at once and save that money of printing to do only the pages that you actually need. It also includes the, the blank page so that you can print off for any projects that you have that I don't include. Um, or maybe duplicates of it that you want to try different versions and have recordings of it different ways that way too. So it's available also as the ebook format. So I will leave a link down below of um, where you can get it. But what I want to do is to be able to show you that there is an option other than what's out there on the market for those of you who just want something else that want to be able to write and journal and talk about your project to yourself so that you can make better choices about how you dehydrate things later uh, down the road. So for those of you who purchased this book before the end of 2022, this will this offer will end on December 31st, 2022. If you buy any of the physical copies of this book, you are going to get a free sticker in the mail uh, within a week. Okay, the books are going to take about two to three weeks to come to you, depending on where you are in the world, because they are printed on demand. Uh, but this sticker will show up to you within the week. I will send out the next business day after you've placed your order. And this is for people who buy the physical physical copies of the books. So again, I want to thank all of you have been part of this community and really kept pushing me and encouraging me and asking and begging and nagging for a book. I've had it in my head for such a long time, but I was um, I was really kind of scared to write it because I was scared that what I had to say really wasn't uh, what anybody would want to know. And I've been really humbled by the reception for this book up to this point when it released two months ago. Um, how many of you have told me that you love it uh, and how it's helped you? So I'm really grateful. Again, thank you. For those of you who have supported me up to this point with the purchase of the book, I hope that you've done it and it's helped you greatly on your dehydrating journey. And again, I'll leave the link for the books down below. And um, thanks so much. And if you want to see the video on other books that I suggest that are really great for dehydrating as well, you can watch this video right here. Uh, and I will link to my book right here. And until I see you again next time, happy dehydrating.